Hello everyone. Good day. This laser printer. They brought it to me, and as you can see, it's on and uh, it's ready to print. The lady that brought it said whenever she prints, the printer jam, which is the paper get jam, as in the paper will not come out. During the process of printing, the paper will jam. In other words, the paper will hang inside the printer. So this is scanner. Let's try it. Let's see whether it can print out. Let me set it. Set the copy. Let's see to try to print one. See. Always remember to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and share my video. I would love to reply your comments. Always remember to drop your comments in the comment section. As you can see, the printer started printing. So let's see. What is it, the problem? <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> now you can see the paper just get jammed. I don't know whether you can see it clearly. Let me see. Let me see whether you can see it clearly. Let me see. I try to pull out the paper. I don't know whether you can see the paper. Let me try to position the camera so that you can see the paper very well. Okay. I guess now you can see the paper. And the paper get jammed. So it cannot pull out. What do you think is the problem of this printer? What do you think? What do you think, guys? What do you think? So let's see. Let's check out. Let me try to uh, take off the turn off the printer and uh, see on how we can take off the paper that that jam. Pull out the cartridge. As you can see, it's a laser jet printer colored one it has four cartridges so let me take off the power of the printer the power is off and let me open it back so that we can get out the paper i want to pull out the paper that's jammed inside let me see let me pull it out as you can see the paper is out So what do you think is the fault of this printer? What do you think? Okay, um, when you have this kind of issue, the first thing that will come into your mind, always remember the fuser units. Let me take off the cartridges. So four cartridges. Because it's a colorless object printer. So like what I was saying, when you have issues of paper jam, always remember fuser unit because the fuser unit is in charge of you know printing dryer and you know pulling out the paper so in most in all lesser jets always concentrate on the fuser unit because most time the fuser unit always you know get one of the issue but sometimes maybe some objects can fail inside the printer and during the process the printer will not be able to push out the paper and it will get jammed so let's see let's see let me just uh, loosen out the printer or to take it out just have to fast it always remember to follow the process you know drop your comments like my video and also share it and always remember to turn on your notification so that whenever I upload new video you can be able to uh, know so that 
you will be notified. So just try to get all the diffuser units. There's a fuser unit. Always remember to follow the process. Just have to follow the process. One lesson printers. To those who are beginner, you just have to follow the process. For those who have been following me all this while, you understand what I'm doing. So, just have to take out this old stuff out first. Our main business is here, which is the fuser unit. So, trying to get out the fuser unit from the printer. So, yeah, the fuser unit is out. This is our case study. This point is called the fuser unit. Let me show you. The whole of this is called the fuser unit. Now, the fuser unit has pressure ruler. Is it? And the fuel ruler, basic fuel ruler. Now, inside the fuel ruler, there is an uh, element that produces heat. You know, when the um, tuna pour on the on the paper, the elements used to produce heat 
to dry off the tuna to to dry off the tuna against the paper so that the tuna will not dust out you know this element used to produce a lot of heat so it can be able to dry up the tuna against the paper so that the image or whatsoever the uh, printer print on the paper will remain the same when it gets out so in that process this fuser unit in that case of since the element is producing heat the fuel ruler which they use in covering the element gets burnt gradually in most case in some cases after losing the fuser units you will discover that the some part of the fuel, fuel ruler will just turn as you can see now the place is open you can see there is a fuel ruler there is a fuel ruler so we just have to take it out just have to take it out now let me take this spring off so that we can be able to get to the fuel ruler so we just want to take out the spring this spring one side is out remember this is our fuser unit in this section in most let me see 70 to 80 percent when your paper is when your printer get paper jam this uh where the fault might likely to be i said in 70 to 80 percent most time why sometime the fault might be from your cartridge why it might be during the process of uh when the printer pick up the paper it will just jam just like that you just have to you know troubleshoot to know where your fault is coming where the problem is coming from that's how it is always remember to subscribe to my channel share my video like my video and drop your comment in the comment section i will be so glad to reply your comments yeah, I'll be so glad to reply your comment, please. So you just have to follow the process gradually. Just as the way I do it step to step. So that you can understand every bit of whatsoever I'm doing. You just have to follow the process. When you follow it, you understand whatsoever I'm doing. Just have to take this other spring out so that can be able to remove the the foil ruler that consists of the element which I'm talking of. Just have to take it out so that you understand what whatsoever I'm saying. I'm just praying that the pressure ruler should not have an issue. If the pressure ruler is clean, then as you can see, our fire ruler is okay. There is no mark, no mark of defect inside on our fire ruler. So we, we, we are not going to change a fire ruler. All we are going to do is to grease it. 
what I'm praying for now. I just hope our uh, 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 pressure roller is okay, just as the foil roller, so that we can just grease the foil roller and the elements, so that we just have to, you know, reassemble the printer. Then our job is done. So our foil roller is out already from the fuser units. Now, as you can see, and uh, this is our pressure roller, it's okay. There is no defect on it, it's clean, there is no way that on. So, all we have to do now is to get a grease. Let me bring a grease now, so I see it. Let me bring a printer, it's a printer grease, so you just think that's a kind of grease they use in the grease in a car. You know, it's a printer grease. That is it. So have to brush every dust that is inside the fuser unit. Always make sure you make you you keep your fuser unit inside clean from every dust. Let me pull back the pressure ruler since there is no defect on it. The pressure ruler is okay. You just have to put it back. Now this is the element and the foil roller. The element is inside and the foil roller is at the top. You know, the job of the foil roller is to reduce the direct heat from the pressure roller. This element is too hot and if the element gets direct contact to the uh, pressure roller, it will melt the pressure roller. That is why they use this foil roller to cover the element. And this element, I'll try to open it so that we can get access to it and grease it. The element is dried up. That is why it's uh, making the the, uh, uh, the printer is jam, getting jam. You know, that's why the printer is getting jam. So <clears throat> just have to grease it so that whenever paper pass through here, it can be able to roll pass it and get out of it so the solution is to grease it the element is dried up so you just have to grease it since in some cases when the element dried up and the customer keep on trying to print when the printer is getting job try to print during the process of trying to continue printing this foil ruler that is covering this element you are seeing now. Now I just take out the foil ruler. And this is the element which I'm telling you of this white thing. I will try to clean it because there is dirt on it. This white thing you are seeing now is an element. And it used to get hot. So I will grease it. There is no grease on it. It already burns out all the grease. So we just take a rag. Let me clean it. So that you have to clean it. Take those uh, uh, the previous grease out. Though those previous grease has already dried up. So you take those previous grease out. Then have to regrease it again. And not just that. I will also look inside the foil roller. If there is a stain inside the foil roller. A stain of a previous grease, I just have to think of how we can be able to clean it. But if there is no stain inside, you just have to wear it back and uh, uh, I 
assemble back the fuser unit and the fuse back. I'm looking the foil roller now. As you can see, there is a dirt inside. So let's think on how we can be able to clean the the uh, foil roller. You just have to follow the process. That's all. Just have to follow the process. I'm putting in the uh, this okay inside the foil roller to clean it off. That is what I'm trying to do. Just I can be able to put it inside. Put in my screwdriver in and turn it to clean in the dirt that is inside cleaning the dirt that's inside yeah that is a way to do it just but you just have to be careful so that the uh, uh foil roller will not get uh bad or will not get broken because during the process of cleaning you might if you don't handle it with care it might get broken and when it get broken you just have to go and buy another foil roller so you just have to be careful when doing it so that it don't get broken. That's all it is. So, okay. You have to clean it well. Clean it. Then look inside. If there is no dirt inside, then after cleaning it, you put in the element inside. The foil roller. But we have to grease our helmet because the helmet is dry and it's not really good. If your helmet gets dried, since the helmet is not moisturized, if your helmet gets dried, what will be the, the effect? It will seize the foil roller. Immediately the foil roller turns. The foil roller will be the, the element we fix the pressure roller face to face. And the pressure roller, the element will not tear the pressure roller. And all these things will be making your paper to jam. Print, jam, print, jam. Like this case, like in this case, the the lady who is using this printer did not persist terms of persisting in terms of printing more. Like she's eager to print more. She just discovered that the train is, you know, doing jumping of paper. So she stopped. After try not less than ten times, she stopped. Well, I wish she continued, you know, trying to print to know whether uh, the, one of two of the copy can be able to pass through. During that process, the foil roller will get bad with tear. After the foil roller tear, that means the element will meet direct contact with the pressure roller and it will meet the pressure roller. That's how it is. So let's concentrate. On how we can be able to fuse it. the fuser unit, you know. Let's see on how we can be able to fix it. Have to install, fix it, fix it. Put more grease. Always remember to subscribe to my channel, like my video, drop your comments. I will be so happy to reply your comments. And do not forget to turn on your notification button so that whenever I upload a new video, you can be notified. As you can see,
You just have to follow the process. Yeah. You can see there is an element and I've put in the element inside the foil roller. The foil roller protects the elements not to meet contact face to face with the pressure roller. The foil roller has a, the ability, the ability to resist it more than the foil roller. The foil roller, if this element gets tight, the pressure roller, the pressure roller will just mental. have to follow the process. Putting it back to the fuser unit. Follow the process. This is our case study, like I said earlier. The fuser unit of a laser jet printer. If you understand how to set the fuser unit, then you are 90% laser uh, uh, laser machine repair follow the process let's put it back and get the spring in pull the spring to clip it Let's try to do the same on this other side. Put the spring to clip it. And I think we are done with our fuser units. All we have to do, let's see on how we can be able to have to follow the process that's all I pray we should have another laser jet printer job soon next and um, so that we can reuse it for those of you to understand how you can be able to work on laser jet printer now putting back the fuser unit into the printer Putting it back. Always be careful when working on printers. Do not be hurry. Be careful and understand all whatsoever you're doing. Yes, just have to follow the process, that's all. Screen back. 
issues are you need. Assembly by the printer. After we done assembly printer, we have to test it to know whether our job is done or perhaps there is an error somewhere. So I guess our job is done because how did I know? I know because the element is so dry. So there is no opportunity. I say it is. So, what are we going to do now? Let's put the power on and test print. Let's see whether our job is done. Let's see, and the printer is on. So, let's test print. Let's see what I to work. Let's test prints. Let's test prints. Is it going to come out? Ah, as you can see, it's out. Our job is done. As you can see, there's a printout. So that means what we have been doing since we, we are on the right track. So always remember to subscribe to my channel, like my video drop your comments turn on your notification button so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified so i hope you understand this class very well we have to take another test printing i hope it will come out yes and it's here so our job is done our job is done okay thank you see you in another class